and you can basically just go crazy in this black hole of hosts and plugins because, because you can, can have, have the multipass within, within the snap pit within the multipass within the snap pit and then you can split it up with three different multipasses and have multipasses in those three yeah you hear how crazy it can go in this video we're checking out kilohertz plugins you will get an insight into the essential pack face plant multipass and snap pit and the crazy sound design that you can create with these VSTs. Let's begin at Kilohertz homepage. Kilohertz is the Swedish developer that creates really, really tiny, small VSTs and AU plugins that are developed to just do one thing, each of them. So they are well alike. Just one limiter does that, and you have a compressor that does that, and just a couple of knobs on each of them. They are really well made, but super simple. But the power of these plugins is that you can view each of these plugins as a building brick so you can combine them into massive like mass destruction sound design tools from these small small bricks if you are new to sound design and you want to get into the business side of it i have a free gift for you because sooner or later you will need a showreel and link down in description you have a sheet sheet that covers everything that you need to know to get started with that so download that and start out with your showreel after the video but now let's continue with the mass destruction sound design thing all right so here we are in multipass one of kilohertz hosts for their snappings so you see the non-linear filter here the stereo plugin here the gain plugins chorus comb filters limiters so you can basically host these small snappings within this host the multipass so multipass in its essence is a band splitter so it splits up the frequencies into different bands and on each band you can add these snappings down here so the interface here looks like this before multipass splits up the frequencies into different bands you have pre fx rack here so you can add snappings before they get split up and then you have post fx over here so you can add pre effects split them up and then add more effects afterwards. And all of these different parameters and plugins you can have modulated by different modulators down here. So in this example, I have a couple of curve modulators here that modulate different things. And if, when you hover over these, you see what they modulate. So modulation is super simple. You just hit this plus button and just hit what you want to modulate and you just pull it up. You have some macros that you can attach to different things and use as like multi-connectors, but I don't have any of these connected in this example. So let's just take a listen to this sound. So you see all these different parameters moving around depending on the curve modulators down here. So we have this like whooshy metallic -y sound effect going on. And in the right corner down here we have a mix controller and I will play the sound and I will dial this back and you will hear that something new starts to evolve. Now we are in this like pad dreamy landscape sound and when the mix is set to zero here the multipass is like effectively just bypassed so nothing in this do anything anymore. So if we close this down we see this window instead and this is another of kilohertz hosts. This is called snap heap. So you see a multipass over here and since this is grayed out it's bypassed and you can see whoosh create and if we open this up we see that this is actually the one that we just had closed down so we host the multipass within the snap heap in this case and snap heap reminds a lot of multipass it reminds in that way that it splits up in different racks where you can host your snappings but snap heap doesn't split up frequencies into different bands instead you have racks of serial effects or you can control them in like parallel mode also. So in this case we have it's serial just going from this into this into this into this into this but if you hit this button we have these running in parallel so with this example it would be 
this goes in parallel into this that goes in serial into this but if we hit this in parallel we have these three going in parallel and then it goes into this serial into this serial so you can control these eight or one two three four five six seven seven it's label up here so i can just read it but yeah you have seven racks of effects that you can add and you can have them in parallel or serial or you can have combinations of those two and then you have the macro controls up up here just like you had in multipass and then of course you can then host multipasses and other snap heaps within this snap heap and then you have modulators down here in this example with this pad I haven't used any modulators because I just didn't feel the need for it. So this is just a bunch of reverb, delay, resonator that just adds resonant tones depending on the tone that I set here. Going into more reverb, going into comb filter, going into a different resonator with a different tone, into new delays, into new more reverb, a comb filter, and then another reverb. So it just blurs out the sound. And if we do the same thing that we did on Multipass, that we just reduce the mix on this, we can hear that a new sound will start to evolve. So now exactly in the same manner that we had multipass, we have this set to mix to zero. This snap hip actually doesn't do anything so we can bypass that and close it down. And now we see faceplant. The flagship synth from Kilohertz. And this can too host different snap ins. So we have this snap hip here, just in the same manner that we have the multipass within the snap hip. We now have the snap hip within face plant. And in here we have a bunch of different effects. So the sound is this. And we have three lanes of effects that runs. This runs into this and this runs into this. So if you start to bypass these effects. Now we're basically down to just some noise with some movement from some modulation. So if we bypass those. Now we hear it just basically noise. And this is just a small hand fan that I have recorded and just chucked it into granular and then start the process. So let's build it up again. We start with this noise. We add some movement to it. The first lane of effects. Second lane of effects. Third lane of effects. We open up the snap heap and enable it. Start to dial it in. Now we're in this pad dreamy landscape thingy. And then we enable the multipass that's hosted within snap heap and open that up. And now we're back at where we started. So it's crazy powerful what you can do within this ecosystem of snap-ins and hosts and synths. And you can host all these different hosts within the host. And you can basically just go crazy in this black hole of hosts and plugins. Because you can have the multipass within the snap heap, within the multipass within the snap heap. And then you can split it up with three different multipasses and have multipasses in those three yeah, you hear how crazy it can go. And all of this is just in, in one one track, one faceplant that I start with. So you see here, it's just one track with one faceplant. All right, that was a quick journey into the black hole of an ecosystem that Kilohertz have created. As I said, super powerful tools that you can use for almost any sound design task that you will be confronted with. 
if you are new to sound design and you want to dive a little bit deeper to the whole showreel thing, I can recommend this video to you. And that's it for this video. Take care of each other out there and I see you in the next one.